Airlines had to delay or cancel thousands of flights today after the FAA experienced a computer outage. This is a live look at DFW Airport on the right. The FAA started experiencing problems overnight and had to reboot the system this morning. Even though the ground stop was lifted 10 hours ago, it caused ripple effects all day. Now things are getting back to normal, but we, we want to dive into the system that failed. It, it provides pilots with safety notices before they take off. William Joy is live at DFW Airport to break down how it works. Hey Chris, passengers arriving and leaving right now aren't dealing with too much disruption after airlines have worked through this ground stop. But aviation experts say an event like what happened today simply never happens. And there's still no official explanation as to why it did. Planes across the country were suddenly grounded Wednesday morning after a federal safety system stopped working. It's an outrage that we have a major system like this uh, without a backup. This is not a minor thing. Aviation consultant Michael Boyd says the system called Notice to Air Missions, or NOTAMS, gives alerts to pilots about runway closures or safety hazards. Airlines have a roadmap of where they're going to go. This is, this is a system that tells them that what road is closed, whether there's a pothole in the way, uh, whether they have to do a diversion, things like that. The FAA says late Tuesday the system was having issues getting messages to planes. Wednesday morning, as they scrambled to fix it, they issued a nationwide ground stop at 6.30 a.m. Central to 8 a.m. What you saw this morning was uh, something we haven't seen in a very long time. Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg says there's no evidence of a cyber attack, and they're still investigating the cause, which many blame on outdated technology. Well, the system is continuously being upgraded and improved, but I think that is one of the key questions that, uh, uh, that we have to look at based on what we saw overnight. One thing for Southwest to be the Grinch that stole Christmas, this is a safety issue. And it's one that needs to be looked into and should not be allowed just to pass us. Don't worry about it. It won't happen again. Across the country, roughly 9,000 flights were delayed. Most airlines were back on track by the evening. Boyd calls the issue a red flag and that there could be other federal systems in immediate need of improvement. It's still safe to fly, but we do have a system that is not up to snuff. That was proven this morning, and we got to do something about it. At DFW Airport, I'm William Joy.